Hallelujah! Woo! Wild Ones, it's Bernadette King. I am the creator and channel of the award-winning Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. And you are looking for information about Black Panther, which means Black Panther is speaking to you and you want to interpret the symbolism and meaning. I'm your girl. Okay, so just very quickly in my own deck, Black Panther is the Queen of Pentacles, or excuse me, Queen of Wands. And rightly named because that particular queen, even if you don't care anything about tarot, is very, very much like Panther symbolism and meaning, which is this. Starting out from the very first, one of the biggest things uh, to know as you're seeking this information, as you're walking your spiritual path, is that Panthers, Black Panthers, are really melanistic leopards, you know, jaguars, and many of them do still have their spots. When they get out in the sun and you, you can see past all the, the black uh, fur and, and see the, the black color and you can see those spots underneath. So Black Panther, a lot of its symbolism and meaning, its symbolic value has to do with illusions and masks that we wear and rooting out truths and being able to really see what's hidden in the shadows. Now that sounds all boogity boogity mysterious. Um, but sometimes it's really a, a valuable, valuable uh, skill to have to be able to hide in plain sight, to wear a mask when you need to wear a mask, to create an illusion when you need to create one, and then to reveal it when you want to or not. More importantly, it's it, it, Black Panther is a call for you to, you know, listen, all spirit animals, uh, totem animals and power animals, they come to us and we can invoke their energies um, and we identify with them because they help us self-actualize. They help us know ourselves better. They help us stand in the seat of our own powers, whatever those may be, whatever we choose for them to be, you know, sometimes in a stronger, more profound way than we can do for ourselves. So potentially Black Panther is showing up to you because it's time to check on yourself for the illusions that you are um, having. Do, do you know that you're having them? For instance, if it's in a relationship, do you really, are, have you convinced yourself that this toxic relationship, this person, if you love them a little more, if you do more for them, are they going to love you more back? Are they going to stop being a jackass? And have you created an illusion for yourself? Okay, well, Black Panther is a great animal to help you see that, see why, and then move that out of your space. Let's say that it's a work-related thing, or family, or friends, or whatever, and you, I mean, you guys, this can be something like, you want to throw somebody a 50th birthday party, you just really want it to be a surprise and don't want them to know, Black Panther can help you create that illusion, right? Um, but it is seriously uh, vital that you use Black Panther to see your own masks. What are you hiding from the world? What are you hiding from yourself? What do you need to hide for right now? What do you need to have the courage to show for right now? And what's so cool about Black Panther is not only can the animal give you the courage to show your true self, your true spots, take those illusions away, it gives you the courage, but it also gives you the speed to do that so that it's not like, you guys, I, I, I have probably done 50 or 60,000 readings by now. And if I had a nickel for every time somebody says to me, I wish I'd made this decision 10 years ago. I wish I'd made this move five years ago. The time that we waste in our lives, you don't have to do that at all. Black Panther moves so quickly. Holy cow. These are some of the fastest cats. Now, they can't sustain that that speed for very long. They really can only do it over short distances, but that's okay because really, how long do you need to drag out? Like if you need to tell somebody, yeah, I'm out of this job or yeah, I'm out of this relationship or yeah, I want to start this business and I just haven't said to anybody, I've been trusted in my own creativity, my this, my that, my whatever. Okay, that's it. All you got to say is I'm done with that. I'm moving on to this. This is how it's going to work. Bada bing, bada bang, bada bum, meow, it's done right? Okay. So the other cool thing about that is speaking about moving quickly. I love, love, love Black Panther because it's a pretty solo kind of working animal. It hunts alone. It does a lot of living alone. It's not lonely. It's just a very solitary animal, which means that Black Panther 
in terms of symbolic meaning for, you know, being a spirit totem and power animal, oh my gosh, when you want to talk about wanting to be more self-reliant, more self-sufficient, more um, courageous just in your own thoughts, words, and deeds, not second-guessing yourself, Black Panther is the one for you. The other thing that that ties into is, remember, Black Panther is black, and it hunts and lives in the shadows, and it is the ultimate shapeshifter. So when you decide you want to make changes, not only will Black Panther give you the energy and the medicine to move forward quickly, to identify what you want, have the courage to move forward, it will give you the opportunity to shape shift like that. And what I mean by that is this. So I'm filming this uh, Black Panther uh, symbolism and meaning video, you know, kind of about five months into the pandemic. And oh my gosh, the amount of people that I've read for and talked with during this time, they're not freaked out. They're concerned because they don't know what to do. And what, really what that has ultimately meant is They've gotten laid off from their jobs. Unfortunately, some of them have lost their businesses, but so many of them hated their jobs and didn't really like their businesses. They were just stuck in this loop, in this illusion of that's all they could do. They couldn't see themselves as being courageous enough or being able to pivot quickly enough or being creative enough, if I didn't already say that, um, to really just metamorphosize, to shapeshift and do what it is that their heart has been calling them to do for years. Sometimes some of these people for years, but now has been the time. So it's also really interesting. Black Panther doesn't come to a lot of people because it is so such a powerful animal. And it, the, I mean, the omens and the harbingers of this animal, they're no joke. But Black Panther in the last five or six months, I've heard more, I've heard more about Black Panther dreams, people getting Black Panther tattoos, just everything. And, you know, yeah, some of that has to do with this time. You know, there's been a big, uh, you know, focus on, you know, the Black community and Black Lives Matter and all of that kind of thing. So there is more of an awareness, you know, about that, which, of course, could be driving some of this. But this started to happen even before all of that came into the spotlight again. Not that it ever should have left the spotlight. You know, obviously the world would be a much better place if we could all coexist. But there's, um, there's just a, 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 a thing going on out in the etheric that is really calling people and telling them this is the time. The universe will support you you will be able to support yourself. The animal allies will support you. And in particular, Black Panther is one of those animals. So that, uh, that said, I want to go back to the, the loner kind of part of this, because again, loner doesn't mean lonely. Again, it means self-sufficient. And when panthers hunt, they do it very quietly. I mean, you you don't hear the snap, crackle, and pop of twigs of branches of nothing. I don't know how they do it, but it's pretty amazing. Why that's important to you today is that not every big cat roars its presence. A lion can show up and doesn't have to roar a thing. You know it's a lion. A black panther doesn't have to say a word. And you know when it comes to communication, People are so uncomfortable with silence and stillness. If you ever want to take the power away, if you want to dominate the power in a conversation, especially a conflict or a negotiation, sit quietly. See how uncomfortable you started to feel? Now, some of you might have been, okay, Bernadette, you proved your point, get on with it. But some of you, it would it would start to make you feel like, whoa, like this, right? Black Panther can help you learn to sit in the seat of your own power and shut your mouth when it best serves you. 
And believe me, for this big blabber mouth, who's got a lot of Sagittarius in her chart, I've got a lot of Scorpio in my chart, which gives me that power of I'm going to stare you down. But I've also got a lot of Sagittarius in my chart, which makes me yuppie. As you can probably tell from my videos. But um, that's a really big thing um, as Panther, Black Panther is appearing to you today and you're seeking out the symbolism and meaning, the symbolic meanings. It's really important that you get that about Panther. Okay, so also when you want to talk about love, because my gosh, you guys, you know, the animal allies want to help you find your true love. They do. They find their own true loves and they want to help you do that. They want to unite with you and help give you the best, best life that you could possibly want. Black Leopard, Black Leopard, Black Panther, that is a sexy animal. There's a lot of sex appeal about the way they slink and the way they move. In one of the daily reading videos I did, um, I, re I told a really quick story about being at this amazing place called Barazona, my enduring love for bears. I seek them out everywhere. Barazona, it's in Arizona, as you might imagine. And my God, the work these people do for animals is just, I go to Arizona, look them up. They are just everything you would ever want an animal sanctuary to be, to, they're everything. But I had the good fortune, because uh, a friend of mine is an editor of uh, an animal magazine, I had the good fortune to be able to go backstage with the manager, uh, the grand poobah of the whole place. And they took us back to the enclosures where they were feeding um, the Black Panthers. And there's only two of them. And I've been around a lot of big cats, y'all. A lot. I've even been around a few Black Panthers. One of my favorite places to go is Mystic Jungle, which is just about 45 minutes from me. It's in High, uh, High Springs, Florida. And I love going there because uh, they've got some Black Panthers there. But I, I don't think I've ever experienced this. When those animals came through that cage, I just this rush came over me like I'd never experienced before with a big cat. And I, I got a really good look at the intensity of these particular cats. And they're, you know, listen, they're, they're smaller, but they're mighty and they can kill with one blow. I think they know that. I think that they carry their self-worth and make no apologies for who they are and trust 100% in their own everything. And that's sexy. That's just plain, flat, and out sexy. But the way they move, like, like, I don't know, there's just something so silken and so smooth and so, I don't know, I, I don't even think I have the words to describe it, but you know what, I don't think I've ever been that sexy in my life, maybe in another life, but dang y'all. So if you want to tap into that part of yourself that has that kind of sex appeal, that even if you don't carry it like, you know, that that I'm doing, it's just a matter of being that lady, that goddess, that woman that, you know, she looks out over a restaurant as she's walking to the bathroom and all eyes turn to her. Whatever kind of air of confidence, air of mystique, air of power that you want to have, Black Panther is the one for you. And that's men and women across the board. It, it, it really does boil down to the cellular level of how these big cats know thyself. There isn't a moment of hesitation in them. And Black Panther is coming to you today to help you sit in the seat of that power. All right. So let's talk about Black Panther as a spirit animal. Now, if you don't know the difference between a spirit totem and power animal, there is a link to the video, uh, my video about that below in the notes section. So, you know, maybe at some point take some time and, and listen to that. But briefly, Black Panther as a spirit animal is the animal that comes to you in your hour of need. You may have called out for this animal to show up for you consciously, to bring you messages of love, healing, support, you know, give you, give you insight, whatever you need. You may have cried out subconsciously and that just, you may wake up one day and go, why am I seeing and hearing about Black Panthers all of a sudden? That's why they're going, hello, knock, knock, rah, rah, hello. That's your spirit animal. <laughs> When Black Panther comes to you as a spirit animal, 
she really is about sacred motherhood. All mothers can be crazy fierce when they need to be. Most of them can. Some of them can't, you know, some of them can't pull up the gumption, but most of them can. And Black Panther is really, it's kind of like Bear. They're really considered one of the more ferocious, protective, don't jack with my cubs kind of animals. You will, you will not live and you will regret it for many lifetimes. And so as we follow her lead, what we can do is transform our own doubts into strengths that we, so that we can come to another level of awareness. And what that means is this. When we see, speak, and act through the eyes of fear, through the emotion of fear, we can't possibly be as aware of anything as we would like to be because we're too busy doing this we're too busy trying to shield ourselves, and that means that this, everything else can't come in. And what goes out is said, it's spoken, it's acted upon through fear, which is never going to be authentic. It's always going to be an illusion, and that's when drama is going to just heighten and escalate. So Black Panther coming to you, the Black Panther spirit animal, is all about removing the illusions from yourself, as we talked about a little bit earlier, but this is a much bigger call to do so because it could mean leaving a toxic job, leaving a toxic relationship, but it's, it's definitely the time for proactive bravery. Now, bravery can mean a lot of things. Bravery can mean that you go out and you just take one swipe and, you know, with your murder mitts, and it's done. I don't really mean murder. It's metaphorical, and that's, you know, I think it's funny. There are a bunch of memes about cats on Facebook, and they call them murder mitts. I think it's the most hilarious thing. Because you guys know, even from a kitten, that one little scratch from your one little teeny tiny claw, God, it hurts worse than a paper cut. Nah. Okay, you see where I'm going with this, right? Okay, so please, 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 if Black Panther is coming to you as a spirit animal today, Please stop and consider. Please allow that animal to speak to you so that you can really get rid of your illusionary fears, all of your false fears. And even if your fears are founded, you can find the way to get rid of them and be courageous, to be brave, to be that mother goddess that is in control and solid and knows what she wants and goes after what she wants, it's going to serve your purpose so very well. Now, if you identify with Panther as a totem animal, okay, wow, you, uh, and just briefly, a totem animal is the animal you identify with. Now, that your, your birth totem is the animal that, sign that you were born under. So in the Western Zodiac, the Chinese Zodiac, the Native American Zodiac, um, the Mayan and Aztec Zodiac, that's the animal you were born under. And some people can have different animals. Like I'm a Scorpio in the Western Zodiac, but it's correlating sign in the Chinese Zodiac is snake. And that's based on the year that I was born. Um, but it's all kind of within that same realm. Now, I don't particularly, I mean, I understand the symbolic meaning of snakes and I understand the symbolic meaning of scorpions and that nature of thing. Um, but for me, I don't identify really so much with the animal, though I have tons of the traits of those particular signs. The animal that I have always identified with is bear. So I consider bear my totem animal. Now, as you metamorphosize through your life, you can have more than one totem animal. And if right now Black Panther is who you're identifying with, you just have this grace about how you move in and out of groups and life and, and just everything. There's just something so easy and graceful about the way that you move. And you, you are so comfortable in your own space. You're comfortable being solitary. You are comfortable in groups. And, you know, you just don't want those connections to be like glomming on to you and, you know, forever. And I'm not saying you don't want to have children long-term or be in a long-term relationship. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that as it comes to just, you know, you want your core, you know, your core, um, you know, tribe, but you don't, uh, 
you don't really want tons of people coming and going. And you're also a really cautious person that that's not that's not born of fear, that's born of wanting to be discerning instead of judgmental or fearful. And that's very different. You know, all cats have the ability to sit completely still for the most unbelievable periods of time until they feel like they've got the lay of the land, what's going on, until they've got a good understanding of it, and then they make their decision to move. Now, that's not to say that they can't move lightning quick, because they can, but you see, that's the great thing about all cats, but, but Black Leopard in particular, especially because, again, Black Leopard is a night creature, and it's black. When that cat wants to fade into the shadows, you'll never, ever be able to tell it's there. But when it wants to make that leap out into the light and it wants to jump at something or on something, it, it's, it, it really happens in the blink of an eye. So you've got that great yin and yang kind of um, ability and skill, and I just admire that so much. You, you are some of the most amazing kind of workers in this world. So also, if you... Uh, you know, like all cats, uh, panthers are very curious. And that's, I, I love that about big cat symbolism and meaning, because I find that over time, when people are tired, or they feel beaten down, or they've lost their courage, um, their self confidence, they can easily, you can easily believe that there's really nothing new for you to learn, nothing new or exciting for you to do or be a part of, don't, don't let yourself shut down like that. That's not true. Every day there's something new to learn. Every day there's something wonderful to see or to experience or to some way you can grow. Life is not over. Well, it's never over, right? I mean, our soul lives forever. But the life that you're in right now, it doesn't have to be, well, this is the hand I was dealt, and however long it is until I check out of this place, this is what it's going to be. No. You can, you can, we'll get to that a little bit later as a power animal, but when Black Panther is your totem animal, you're a person that has never lost that curiosity. And good for you, because that's going to keep you more alive and more vibrant and more creative and just experiencing all the best life has to offer. Good for you. Congratulations. Now, Panther people, um, you know, you guys rarely reveal very much about yourself. And for you, that works very, very well. That's going to be something that's going to serve your purpose because to be honest, a lot of people are not going to be able to handle your intensity or nor are they going to be able to handle your depth. You are not a, a, a chirpy bird. You are not a chirpy monkey. You are not, there's nothing chirpy about you. In a lot of ways, you could be considered stoic, but that doesn't mean that there's not a tremendous amount of emotion going on in you at all times. Because remember, Panther ties into lunar energy and lunar energy controls the tides. Water, that's all about emotion. Now, a lot of people ask me what um, chakra each animal is, and I'm, I'm fixing to do, fixing, y'all, I'm from the South. Um, I'm fixing to do an, a, a video about stop all the bullshit already about the chakras because people have it wrong. And what that means is no one crystal ties to one chakra. No one animal ties to one chakra. And there's a whole system, um, basically, it's as simple as this. Have an open mind and listen to what the animal allies tell you or the crystals tell you or the this tells you or the healer tells you or the that tells you about, you know, working with chakras and assigning animals or crystals or whatever to whatever you want to do for a particular chakra. That's another video. So when you are moving into working with Black Panther as a power animal, not to put any negative spin on this at all. But there are some animals, y'all, that when people, because I get emails and people call me and I get Facebook messages, that people have done their spirit animal meditations and their hair blows back. Like they think they want to call forth a power animal. They want to unite that part of themselves, that part of their own spirit that is the Black Panther. 
<laughs> and they do. And then it blows their hair back and it scares the Pewalik and Jazzies out of them. Because think of who you are today. And I'm, I'm a pretty ballsy lady. I'm pretty hardcore. But I got to say, honestly, if I felt that thing of Black Panther welling up inside of me, I would be like, okay, that's cool. And then I would be like, hamana, 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 hamana. How do I, the mere human, do justice by this energy and not unleash it in some way that's going to cause problems for me and everybody else, right? Black Panther is great for being able to have the power, contain the power, use the power, but not let it scare you or anybody else. So just know that when you go and you invoke Black Power as your pet, Black Panther as your power animal, really what something, some, some key points that will be really, uh, I think, beneficial for you if you're watching this today to know that you're, you, it's, it's probably a good time for you to work on is being able to see past the superficial, being able to understand what you're seeing, see the truth of things, and then sit back in a moment if it calls for that and consider what you want to do. Or if the moment calls for it, you leap with the power and intention and making no apologies of that Black Panther. They're very tactile animals, right? They, they feel so much. Their whiskers give them spatial recognition. You know, can I make it through? Can my body make it through this um, area? Their sense of smell, their sense of hearing, what they can do with their pawpaws, um, what they can, I mean, what, what they can pick up and how they can manipulate things that they're holding is, uh, it, I wouldn't say that it's human-like. It's certainly not monkey or ape or anything that like but it comes pretty close. They can, they can hold and manipulate things with their paws that you never even imagined. And so today there might be something that you need to actually put your hands on. Wrap your, instead of wrapping your head around something, you may need to wrap your paws around something. And, you know, not anybody's throat, okay? <laughs> but just something that is going to make it where the tactical feelings maybe your sense of smell. Oh my gosh, perfect example. Y'all, I was sitting here this morning before I did this video. What a putz. I have a gas stove and I, I was tired. It was five o'clock in the morning. I flipped it on and in my head, I thought I heard the fire, you know, it goes click, click, click. And I thought I heard the fire fire up and the clicking stopped. So I'm going on about my merry business and 20 minutes later, I'm like, what is that smell? What is it? So I start hunting through my house at the smell and then I get halfway in my kitchen, and I hear the shh. And I'm like, what is that shh? I look over at my stove, and the th I about blew myself up this morning. Uh, 54. It is not a preferred age, can I just tell you? So there might be something that you really need to heighten all of your senses, your tactile senses, your smell, your taste, your seeing, your hearing, your, your feeling with your hands. Black Panther is a, all good, all big cats are. But, but working within all of the symbolic meanings of Panther, Black Panther, this might be a good time for you to consider those and unite yourself with the, 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 the more, I would say, utilized powers that big cats have that we don't often have as humans, just because our survival doesn't rely on our instincts in that way. Okay, so... If, uh, just briefly, I want to go through, um, oh, and just really quickly, uh, if you're looking for the Native American animal uh, symbolic meaning of Black Panther, it's kind of cool because they have symbols and meanings for Black uh, Panther, which centers on Jaguar, which is a word that kind of roughly means kills in one blow, which I always thought was, uh, I don't know, I just think it's really a cool kind of thing because when we think about the things that we want to accomplish, you know, kill is a very strong word. But, you know, people say, I killed it or crushed it. It's the same kind of thing. Black Panther can give you the power to crush it, to kill it. One blow, one take. That's all, you know, that you don't need to go on and on and on, right? Okay. So 
also um, Celtic lore, you know, I talk a lot about different cultures from around the world and what the animals mean to them. I couldn't find very much um, in the Celtic lore and mythology for Celtic animal symbols about Black Panther, except for Freya had the goddess of fertility, uh, fertility, fate, love in the Norse tradition. She had a chariot that was manned by two black cats. So I kind of associate Black Panther with that. Now, if Black Panther is showing up in your dreams, that can have a lot of different meanings, but really generally it it's going to pretend uh, of, of you overcoming obstacles. It's going to pretend of you having great fortune, good luck, because whatever illusions were standing in your way, that's if you can see the Black Panther in a dream. If you can't see the Black Panther, but you're aware that it's there, that you can't see it, it's hidden in the shadows, that's going to be really important that you take a look at that also as an omen of what am I missing? What do I need to see? Who do I need to see? So um, just very quickly, just to go over some quick words about Black Panther, aggression, elusiveness, instincts, leadership, movement, power, sensuality, solitude, and I hope that is helpful to you. That's a deep, deep, deep dive into Panther and Black Panther and how you can use the symbolism and meanings to work magic and mystery in your own life. Um, please, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you always have the newest um, updates on all animals. Plus I do a daily tarot reading every day. You can always get that. Become closer to your animal allies and pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. But above all else, what's the most important thing? To stay wild.